So this is a 3D gear in AutoCAD 2021. You, as you can see, you have the filleted edges on the interiors of both sides of the gear. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D gear in AutoCAD 2021. So first, you're going to want to make sure that your workspace settings is in drafting and annotation. And you're going to go to draw, construction lines, and then you're going to go make a vertical line and a horizontal line. So then once you have that, you're going to go to circle. Then you're going to make it a radius of 0 0.25. Then you're going to go there. So then you're going to do a, another circle of a radius of 0 0.5. So then, after that, you're going to make another circle with a radius of 1. Then, one more circle with a radius of 1.5. So then, once you have that, you're going to go to Offset. And then, down here, you're going to enter an offset of 0 0.1. 309 enter so then you're gonna go here and go there enter then you go to offset again and turn offset of 0 0.047 enter then you're gonna go to the middle one just like that enter then you're gonna go to offset once again and down here put an offset of 0 0 0.107 so not six zero and enter and then you're gonna put the offset of that so then once you have that you're gonna enter and then once you have that you're going to want to do an offset of 0 0.1905 let me finish yep and then do that for the outer circle on both sides. Just like that. Enter. So then once you have that, you should have something that looks like this. And then you're going to trim it. Yep. And so you're going to click trim. And then you're going to click the this here. Boom, boom, boom. <coughs> there, there. And like that. And then, once you have that, you're going to get rid of the one on this side. Like that. And then, all of this here. And over here. And then over here. Okay, so then once you have it looking like this, you're going to want to click enter. And then you're going, oh wait, yeah. And then you're going to click that, erase. Then you're going to go here and click erase. So then once you have this, you're going to want to go to Polar Array, and then you want to, hold on, yeah, and then you're going to click this line, and then right click, the center of that, and you're going to want to make the item amount 18, and close array. So then once you have that, you're going to click the arc there there and that point and you're going to click arc again there there and that point so then once you have that you're going to want to
go uh you can now let's see let's try the remaining okay so now you can delete the remaining construction lines and you can delete also the two outer lines so then you should have it looking like this you can erase that too so then once you have that let's see you can want to so then you're going to want to highlight this and click modify and click the join so now it's all in one so then you're going to want to uh, go to polar array again click that click that and click the center point and make it uh, 18 items and close the array so now that you, so now you have your gear looking something should have it look some looking something like this you're going to highlight it like that and enter join so then you're gonna do that join once again join just like that enter enter one more time enter so then you're going to highlight it again and enter X Explode. So then once you have this, you should have almost, let's see, like that, and then highlight it one more time, explode. Okay, so then you're going to want to, after that, go to fillet or fillet, sorry, and then you're going to want to uh, make the radius of 0 0.062. Uh, let's see. Enter. So then multiple, multiple. So then now you're going to want to fill it all of these things here. And my last video, not my last video, the uh, how to make curved edges, I figured out it's not fillet, it's fillets. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so you just want to keep doing this until you have all of this. You can also do it in polar array if you want to. You just fill it one, and then you highlight it. Do it. Click the center point, and then you click 18 items, and then all of them will be filleted for you. But I'm doing it the longer way right now, but that's okay, because I think I'm going pretty quick at it. There. There, and there. Oh, one more. There. So that now, now that you have this, you're going to want to change your workspace settings to 3D modeling. So it might get laggy when you first get into it, but once you have that, you're going to want to click the home button. Just like that. And then you're going to want to click press pull. I hope it doesn't get laggy. Phew. Okay. Oh no, it's getting laggy again. So then you're going to want to make the height of that negative 0 0.5. Enter. So then now that you have that, you're going to want to. I on, actually, it makes it easier if you do like shaded, I just think it makes it easier. Press pull, select there one more time. Oh, where'd it go? Oh yeah, so then you're gonna wanna make the height of that 0 0.5 positive. So then once you have that, 
you're going to change it like what I just did to 2D to shaded. Then you're going to press pull, press pull this, and then you're going to want to make that negative 0 0.25. Enter. And then you're going to want to click that again. Oh gosh, it's getting laggy again. And then make that positive 0 0.25. Enter. So then now that you have that, actually, you know what? No, that's not what you do. Okay, yeah, let's redo this. So you make this. You make, oh gosh, no. Why isn't this working? You erase. Okay, one more time. You're going to click this and make it a negative 0 0.5. Enter. I said negative. Why is that happening? Oh gosh. Let me delete this real quick. Press pull. And bring it down. I think it's really laggy because I'm recording. Let's see. No, I don't want that. Let me turn this off. That's better. Let's see. Yes, this is much better. Okay. Phew, that's better now. You're gonna wanna make that negative 0 0.5. Enter. And then I turned it off. Oh geez. No, I need to turn this. Why is this happening? Press pull. Make that positive 0 0.5. There we go. So then now, once we have that, you can click that and do this one as a negative 0 0.25. Enter. So once you have that, you're going to click this and bring that up to a, let's see, positive 0 0.25. Enter. And boom. So we do not need that anymore. Uh, flipping my notebook. So then once you have that, you're going to click Solid Union and then highlight it and then enter. And then once we do that, you're going to go to Fillet. Or no, you're going to go to Solid and then you're going to go to Fillet Edge. Then you're going to make this a radius of 0 0.125 enter so then once you have that you're going to want to let's see oh gosh let's go fill it again oh I see how I do this now I did it before One sec. See, I think you have to do the middle first. One sec. Radius, maybe. No, 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 that's not what we need.
yes enter enter there we go now we click play do that one enter enter and now once we have that we're gonna click this and go underneath it exit and then we're gonna click fillet edge once again boom enter enter fillet edge again sorry i think i might have said fillet earlier and boom so that is how you make a 3d gear in autocad 2021 so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button like the video put turn on post notifications and yeah do all that cool stuff and i hope that you guys have will have an amazing day see you in the next video bye